up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we have actually something pretty epic. We are in an abandoned mall, or soon to be abandoned in the next 24 hours. Um, this is the mall that I used to come to as a kid growing up. We're in Hamilton, Ontario. This is firstly known as the Eaton Center, now turned as the city center. This was built in 1990 as the Eaton Center. Later, nine years later, it turned into the city center, so yeah, we're gonna see what's left in this mall. Today is the last actual active day we can use to get in here, so. So guys, as I was filming my intro, that security guard just came up to Terry right now, which he's over there filming. Um, he just said to make sure we don't go into any back rooms. He goes, filming is allowed because today's the last active day. So it's pretty cool. Uh, just even the background, like behind me, like it's so cool right here. Uh, there's, I think, about four active stores. I'm not going to go into those stores, but... This is the last active time I can actually get in here because they're going to have cameras everywhere. The security is being bumped up because homeless people are sneaking in here. So, yeah, but just look at this view right here. This is the, the intro thing I just did here, but it's just so cool. There's one store open right there. And these dangly little lights right there because it's Christmas time. But, yeah, it's just it's so freaking cool. We're going to try to walk around and we're going to try to explore as much of them all we can without going to the back rooms and stuff like that, so. Another thing that the security guy was saying, when I asked him off camera, can we go in the back rooms, he goes, they haven't really done a lot of updating back there, so he goes, it's gonna be a little bit decaying back there and all that kind of jazz. So he goes, there's nothing really much to see. And I get it, I, I tried to ask permission, but he said no. And I respect that 100%. I'm gonna go to as many spots in this area that I can get to. But, uh, but oh, look at that, see? Look right up there, let me see. That's got a little bit of decay right there. That's a vent, I think that goes out, but yeah. Oh, look at that, even up here. There's water damage up there, right? And then right there, there's some damage. So, Hamilton City Center, heart downstairs. Oh, they got Wi-Fi in here too, dang. Yeah, that used to say Eaton Center back in the day, if I'm not mistaken. And then in 99, they started changing stuff. Oh my God, look at that. Look at all the water damage right there on the pillars and stuff. Yeah, old serves. Oh, like even over there, I'm gonna walk over there, but what is this? Dogs must be carried on the escalator. Huh. We'll go there in a minute, but. <clears throat> the city facility is closed and programs are canceled until further notice. Uh -huh. What's in here anyway? Not much, but <clears throat> I just wanted to come and check out like this stuff right here. Look at right here, guys. All the damage right there. Tried to clean it up nice, but it just, it's sad that this mall has come to this point. I used to come here as a kid. But back in the 90s, early 90s, what they did when the Eaton Center was built, Hamilton was really not a good place to be in, in the downtown area. There's a lot of uh, gang violence and all that kind of stuff. I remember all that stuff. But um, they tried to build this mall so it would bring more people in to make it look better, make the downtown area kind of more like Toronto-ish type area, like they're shopping. But, and they did a good job, Eaton Center, but then Eaton Center went bankrupt and all that kind of jazz somewhere in the late 90s that's why the, the mall changed in 99 and it's been city center since 99 till now um any stories for you terry i got, I got terry here guys i didn't say he was in the video yet but thank you hmm? see all the paint peeling and decay up? <clears throat> yeah any stories you have for here i was saying how when they built this mall, the, 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 it was not ghetto, but they had a lot of gang violence back in the day, yeah. and they tried to make this more of a, a better place. But you live downtown, like near this. What, what stores do you have? Like, do you remember anything 
I have memories of Eaton's when it was here. Yeah. But then after Eaton's, it died out. So, I mean, I think the only time I ever came through here there was a bowling alley that was going to be opened. Really? It never opened. Wow. Oh, man, there was a whole story to that. So I talked to the owner of it. He'd rented out all the space on the main floor. We'll go down by there. Had to deal with the management and the city and everything. He was going to ho- open a whole entertainment complex in there. Oh, Bowling, snap. a comedy uh, stage, a bar, all kind wow. of like a nightclub kind of deal. Because the student building is being built around the area. Perfect. Yep. So the mall agreed to give him a dedicated entrance for it. Because yep. it's closed at like 6 p.m. Mm-hmm. You can't have a bar open until 6 p.m. Oh, shit. He started building. He put in millions of dollars. They're like, yeah, we changed our mind. You don't get a dedicated door anymore. Uh, He's like, what? <laughs> what? And then the city comes in and goes, oh, yeah. We're going to slap 10 more permits that you need on there. Wow. So then he went through all of that <clears> over <throat> years. And mm-hmm. they're like, yeah, we sold it. We're demolishing it. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. There was never any real businesses in here after Eaton's left. Really? This whole third floor was <clears throat> And city offices. See, I never came in here when it was actually known as the city center. That's why for me to walk in this mall after 20 years, it's just, it's so surreal that I remember this being built and coming around. I was in, I was here probably in the early 90s <clears throat> and it just bringing back a lot of memories right now, guys. So the last time I'm going to be able to step foot in here, but it is what it is. All right. This is a hallway that goes to the parking gym in the workout area, like the, the gym on the parking level. Sorry, my bad. I think this is one of the levels we're not allowed to go on. So I don't know. I don't want to open this door because I don't know if they have it alarmed already. But we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna try to go around to certain spots and we'll see what we can get. All right, guys, we're at the elevators. Elevators do work. Because obviously we took them to get to the top floor because that's where we want to start our video. So, and security is uh, watching us as we do this stuff. So, wait, what's this? Elevators over there. Interior saying that a lot of these were made as uh, offices type thing. So, all right, guys, we're going into an area where we're not supposed to be. He said this area was off limits, but. But we're going to try to bring you the best content and go to areas where we can get through and uh, try to get in quickly and out. I think this <clears throat> might have been where that area was where the gym was, possibly. Oh, here's the gym. That's the door we were at just a second ago. And then, check out this right here. This is Hamilton, guys. Let's see. Yeah, it's locked, so I'm not even gonna bother. So. Yo, look at the glass blocks. Nothing up here, just offices? Empty offices, yeah. Gotta check it out, guys. As much as we can get, because today's the last day. West entrance, employees only. Wow. Pretty cool. Nothing much in here.
I love you. I think that's for personnel only. Yeah, there's not so much in here. Yo, that's crazy. Sunlight coming in for the staircases here. No more under if they don't want public seeing this stuff. This is just for where employees go to their offices. This is like main piping to heat the place. And that is a long way down, guys. Long way down, Terry. Jump right now. Still a long drop. What's in here? Oh, that's part. Oh, this is the area we're not supposed to be in, eh? Is it? Yep. This is off to the, the public, this area. <laughs> Do you think the alarm will go off if we open this? Possible. <laughs> what else down here? Nothing? It looks like they're renovating down here, but obviously not. Yeah, I'm not going to go on that kind of no. So we're not going to set the alarms off here, guys, because we still want to explore this place. So we're going to go all the way back to the top floor and make our way around the mall. So I'll see you guys at the top floor. All right, guys. We just came out the door here. I don't think we're allowed in this area, but we filmed it anyway. Um, this one lady there. Yeah, so guys, we're on the second floor now. But that main floor behind the scenes was down there, but down, so this way. It looked like it was being renovated in an area where we weren't supposed to be, so we decided to come up to the second floor and kind of continue our video here. There's the elevator. Last time you're gonna see the elevator, we're going up and down. We got security right there, making sure we're not caught in that back area. So guys, there's a couple stores on this floor here. We have a furniture store here, and then we have a, a dollar, it's called Super Deals, like a dollar store. We have a cell phone depot in front of us, and then we have another dollar store right over here, kind of stuff. And then I think Heart is still open, I believe. So we're just gonna kind of go filming around and uh, see what else we can find. So look at the element escalators, how they crisscross. Kind of stuff reminds me of that one house we did with the escalator staircase. So, got security staying close, making sure. There's one exit to get out of the mall. This will be permanently closed off as of tonight, midnight, <clears throat> or when the mall closes. Sorry, um, it won't be tough to get into this place after. We have security cameras right there. So they do have cameras in place, ready to go. And there's a couple of dome cameras up there. There's one there. Um, I don't know where the other ones are, but it's pretty cool. It's kind of surreal right now, being here for the final time. So. All right, guys, so security just all right, so guys, I'm on the top floor again. This is an area I missed totally while filming. So, but what I gotta tell you guys. So the security guy came up to us. One of them, he's actually pretty cool about it. He's like, you can't film on your camera no more. Your cell phone, yes, but no cameras are allowed anymore. I don't know why. There's other guys walking around in here too filming. So, um, but I'm gonna drop the footage of it right now. It was filmed on a phone. Uh, so that's gonna drop right now. Office, but the rest of it is like. Yeah. So, you need my phone. Yeah, exactly. Feel free. Wait, that's all. I'm on my phone. I know. Trust. But as soon as, like, as soon as the big one comes out, there, it's like, okay. Yeah. So, uh,
Yeah, trust me, I know. Uh, you're, the, you're not the first either. There's another like three, four groups of guys. Really? That came in, they had like tripods and all that stuff. Look at anything. Take shredded in. That's why. Yeah, take pictures. Because this takes better than cool. Right. Good. Totally, yeah. Fine. But I think she doesn't want the whole aspect of like vlogging and filming and all that stuff. So that was the footage right there. Uh, I'm gonna try to film nonchalantly as much as I can. He says I, I asked him, can I film pitch can I take pictures on my my camera instead of my phone? Because camera's better. He's like, yeah, I do that, but just try not to film on your phone. Owners come in here at like two o'clock, so we gotta respect uh, the privacy and we just kinda keep my eyes open. There's like four or five security guards here, so uh, yeah, so let's continue this explore quickly. This is one of the entrances right from City Hall in Hamilton. This will be locked off or blocked off as of tomorrow. You won't be able to get into this entrance way, so. Yeah. Alright, guys, so Terry's gonna keep my eye open as I film. I'm gonna keep com filming on the camera. Yeah, I'll hold it No, no, you're gonna be my eyes, so I can keep filming on my camera without getting caught. Terry's gonna come back. You have to go to his channel. He's gonna show you some behind the feet, uh, behind the scenes footage. He's got permission to do other stuff in this mall, so you gotta go to his channel and check that out. When he releases it, yeah, you'll see. So he got special permission for something, and that's it. Well, well, well. How ancient is this? A payphone. Oh my goodness. And it still works. It's still an active line. Holy crap, what's the phone number in here? Here, I want someone to call this number and see what happens. <laughs> Damn! These are some offices right here that are fully, fully empty that I cannot get back into. How cool is that? I wonder what's behind there. I know this is where we went earlier. So. That wasn't connected to the hallway back there. This is probably part of that store or office area, possibly, but. This guy here has been following us everywhere we go. Literally, everywhere we go, that person has been following us. I don't know if that's the person who's been riding us out to security about filming, but that's a big no-no in my book. Like, seriously, stay the heck away from me. I'm filming you now. Stop following us everywhere we go. Every floor we go to, he's following us. It's not just going for a walk. Everywhere we go in the mall, he's following. So. You know. Terry, you already pushed the button? Hey, Terry, have you noticed? That guy over here, he's coming back again. He's watching us. Which guy? The guy over there. Oh, yeah, probably. Maybe he's a fan. Here to see some cars. Watch, we're gonna go to the every time we go to each floor he follows us. So I wouldn't be surprised. We're going to the first floor. Watch him follow us to the first floor. And maybe he's like undercover security. Yeah, it could be. Alright guys, we're on the main floor. I'm gonna do this quick because I'm literally right beside the security guy's office right now. So, not much to show around here. Escalators are shut off right here. Um, and see, I think it's that blue, that blue wallpaper right there. All right, that quick little snippet you've seen, the security you've seen me filming, I shut it off quickly. He came down the stairs and he watched me for about 30 seconds. I had to switch it over to camera mode, take some pictures to show I'm not filming on my phone. But, um, yeah, they're, they're crawling all over me, guys, like literally all over me. So, I don't know how much more I have left to film, but let's see. So, security's office is right there. He just shut the door, and two of them just went up in front of me. So, this is just an empty corridor. I don't know where it's leading, but I can't really go. 
because security is in there right behind me. But we do have some Canada Post or Postal Offices safety boxes type thing. Um, and we got the food court right here. The security office is right there. So 75% off the shop there that's open. And then we walk into the food court area, which is kind of cool. Hmm. Country Deli Sub, coffee and donut. I wish coffee was open, but. Um, and then got this right here. The main. Elevator right there. All right, guys. So, my God, look at this. We have a video game DVD blowout sale. PS2, Xbox, GameCube DVDs. Oh no way! Why couldn't I have been here for this store? Huh? We got an exit here. Probably bathrooms. Nope. Smart buys. Yo, guys. That's pretty much it. There's a camera right above that door. There's not really much left in this area, so we're gonna head up. Dogs must be carried. I love how the, the stairs go crisscross and stuff. So All right, guys, this is it for me in the mall. And there's a guy, that's that guy right there. He keeps following us, he keeps, every time. But, we got Star Sports. This is the boys and girls, final time I'm in this mall forever. All right, guys, I wanna thank you all for staying here, watching this video, it's kinda cool, kinda nostalgic for me, and so Terry. Say goodbye to the mall, Terry, finally. Alright, his link's down below, mine are down below. Just take a look at this mall. Such a nice mall. It's a shame to tear it down, but right over here where Terry is, that's how you get into Jackson Square. They're gonna nail off that, they're gonna nail that off. Every entrance they can think of is gonna be gone. So, with that being said, all my links are down below. You guys know how it is. Keep it real, stay positive, keep living that dream, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!